Stationary Wavelet Transform, SWT It is observed that discrete wavelet transform, DWT, is not a shift invariant transform. Therefore, in order to get rid of this problem, stationary wavelet transform, SWT-based fusion technique, an extension of DWT scheme, also known as AWTRU algorithm, has been introduced. In the AWTRU algorithm, the downsampling step is suppressed and instead the filter is upsampled by inserting zeros between the filter coefficients. Structure of AWTRU filters In the SWT algorithm, it uses a two-dimensional filter derived from the scaling function. This produces two images, of which one is an approximation image while the other is a detailed image called the wavelet plane. A wavelet plane represents the horizontal, vertical, and diagonal detail between 2J and 2J-1 resolution and is computed as the difference between two consecutive approximations EL-1 and EL levels. All the approximation images obtained, by applying this decomposition, have the same number of columns and rows as the original image, since filters at each level are upsampled by inserting zeros between the filter coefficients and make the size of the image same. This is a consequence of the fact that the AWTRU algorithm is a non-orthogonal, redundant oversample transform. The AWTRU decomposition process is shown in. The procedure for the pan sharpening of pan and MS images using SWT can be summarized as follows. To generate new panchromatic images, match histograms of pan image to their corresponding MS image. Perform the second level wavelet transform only on the modified pan image. The resulting wavelet planes of pan are added directly to each MS images. To generate new panchromatic images, match histograms of pan image to their corresponding MS image. Perform the second level wavelet transform only on the modified pan image. The resulting wavelet planes of pan are added directly to each MS images. Methodology adopted for SWT-based pan sharpening the SWT eliminates the shift sensitivity problem at the cost of an overcomplete signal representation. However, it does not resolve the problem of feature orientation. In addition, the discrete wavelet transform, DWT, and stationary wavelet transform, SWT, cannot capture curves and edges of images well. Wavelets perform well only at representing point singularities, i.e., appropriate to represent linear edges, since they ignore the geometric properties of structures and do not exploit the regularity of edges. For curved edges, the accuracy of edge localization in the wavelet transform is low. So, there is a need for an alternative approach, which has the potential or capability to detect, represent, and process high-dimensional data. In order to solve this problem, multi-scale geometric analysis has been further investigated. As a result, Kond and Donahoe have proposed the concept of curvelet transform, CVT. Further, in order to solve the problem of curvelet transform, which is first developed in continuous domain and then does discretization of images or signals of interest, Yang et al. and Du and Vetterly presented a flexible multi-resolution, local, and directional image expansion using contour segments, named contourlet transform. However, due to the downsampling and upsampling, the CT lacks shift invariance and thus results in ringing artifacts. To overcome the weakness of wavelets, curvelets, and contralets, Cunha et al. proposed non-subsampled contralet transform, NSCT, based on non-subsampled pyramid decomposition, NSBD, and non-subsampled filter bank, NSFB.